So I wouldn't really call this a haul. I would call this hauls, plural, all in one. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and every single week I share a grocery haul. So this week was a little different. It always gets a little crazy around the holidays, but I actually took my friend Kira. She has a YouTube channel as well, 50 Shades of Mom. I will have it linked in the description box, but I took her to, well actually she took me. We went together to Trader Joe's and Costco and I didn't really have a list, but I found some things that I knew that I would want. So I went ahead and picked those up. So I'm gonna share those with you. So I've got Trader Joe's, Costco, and then I did a uh, H-E-B haul. So for groceries that I knew that we would need for the coming week. Now it is not going to include Christmas day dinner. Even though we are hosting that here at our house, I haven't made a complete grocery list. I know, what was I thinking? I'm gonna be one of those people in the store the day before. Ugh, I just do not have all of my stuff together. But I wanted to show you guys a few things that I did pick up for this coming week and some of it you may see in a video. I don't know if I'm gonna film. I'm doing like an appetizer board tray sort of thing um, with all Trader Joe's products and I don't know if I'm gonna film that or not or you guys will just see that in like a vlog style video. So let's go ahead. I don't remember the grand total because it's like three different days but I think I say the total while I'm filming the hauls. So I'll go ahead and get right into it so you guys can see what I picked up grocery wise for my family of six for this week. Okay, so my total at Costco was 32.76 and you guys, this is the smallest amount I've ever picked up, <laughs> just four items. So let me get my receipt here so I can tell you what each thing cost and oh my gosh, I know I shouldn't have done it, but I just, oh, no more. I'm only picking up one more. This is the s'mores snack mix. Not healthy at all, but so good. And it was on sale. So instead of $9.79, it was $3 off. So it was $6.79, yum. Then my kids go through ketchup like nobody's business. So I went ahead and got a three pack so I don't have to worry about it for a while. This is the Heinz tomato ketchup simply and it was $8.49. Then this was new. I went ahead and picked this up. We love these kinds of things around here and with the kids, going to be home for two weeks. I thought this would be something nice to have. This will not last two weeks though. It's a six pack. So there's three um, of these on top that you see and it has cheddar crackers, kind of like goldfish, cheddar cheese, and then sweet apple slices. And then there's three other ones that you can't see, but it's on the other side. Here's a picture right here. And it has the sweet apple slices, the cheddar cheese, and roasted salted almonds and this was $8.99. Then lastly, we also go through strawberries very quickly. So I went ahead and got a two pound bag or container and this was $8.49. So it was $32.76. Then we come over to Trader Joe's and yes, I got appetizer wasted um, because of just things that we're gonna be doing. So at Trader Joe's, my total is 57. 74, I'm not gonna tell you the price of each item, that's just gonna take too long. I got a package of plain bagels. Then like I said, I got a lot of appetizers because I, I like getting a lot of different kinds for people to just snack on. So yeah, got the mac and cheese bites. Hold the corn appetizers. These are rice cones filled with sweet corn and vegetables. Then I got these mini quiche duos. So there's mushroom and Swiss cheese and then there's bacon and sweet onion. This is not an app, but I did get this. I thought Paige, my oldest daughter, would like this in her um, coffee and she likes to put creamer in her hot chocolate as well. And this is the cocoa peppermint flavored almond creamer. I got the mini beef tacos. They also had the chicken ones and I couldn't make up my mind, but because I was with Kira, she was like, get the beef ones. <laughs> so I got the beef ones. These uncured bacon wrapped dates stuffed with goat cheese. Oh my gosh, like some of these I wanted to get two, like multiples, but I really just want a variety. I don't want like a ton of just one, so ooh, yum. Then these cheese and cranberry sauce 
bites. Oh my, they all just look so good. All right, so I got the fresh Italian chestnuts. I've talked about these before. Um, these are the ones that you just roast in the oven, so, so good. So I went ahead and got that. I did get some fresh flowers, super pretty. I got the lemon basil pasta salad. My oldest daughter, Paige, loves this stuff. I got another eggnog yogurt for me. I had this the last time I went and it was so good. So I did go ahead and pick up another one. Then I wanna try their pickles. So I got these organic sweet bread and butter, butter pickles. I am taking an olive tray and I have olives. Um, and a few other things, but I don't have any pickles. So I went ahead and got those. I wanna get the dill, like the little ones, gherkins I think they're called, um, but I'll get those from like H-E-B or something. And then last but not least is pineapple juice and I need this for a, a recipe. So that is my little impromptu <laughs> haul that happens when I take a friend to two different grocery stores. All right, so this is definitely a hodgepodge of grocery hauls <laughs> because I have gone several times this week as I've made a list and I just it's just been easier for me to do it this way to keep things together. So I just used Instacart for an HEB delivery um, for two things. However, I went ahead and picked up a few things that I know I'm going to need this weekend as well, even though I'm going to the store tomorrow. I just went ahead, the list that I had going, I went ahead and got it all. So for two videos that you guys are gonna see, I needed two more items. I got a Canada Dry two liters of ginger ale and then a package of Pillsbury pie crust and there's two in here. Um, so you guys have probably already seen these videos um, of things that I've been making. Then for Christmas, uh, well not for Christmas, for our family Christmas get together. I'm taking like an olive or relish tray and then I'm sprucing it up. I'm adding some cheese, salami, doing more like a charcuterie board and then the rosemary and stuff like that. So this is what I got to go with that. I'll definitely take a picture and post it on my Instagram. So, and you guys are probably seeing this after the fact anyway. All right, so I got two packages of the Colby and Monterey Jack cubed cheese, one glass jar of dill gherkins. I got two packages because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna end up using. One of them is probably gonna be enough, but that's okay. I can always use the other one for um, Christmas dinner. So two packages of rosemary. Then I got a 12 ounce package of Italian dry salami and then two four ounce packages because they didn't have a 12 ounce. So this was the closest I could get to it. Um, well, I could have got three, but I figured two was enough of the uncured pepperoni. And then two, like seriously, we have been on a mozzarella kick here lately. We've just been loving it. So I got two more little packages of the fresh mozzarella pearls. Yum, yum, yum. I can't wait to put this together. I think it's gonna be delicious and it's gonna look super cute. So that's a just random little haul that I've done in the middle of the week. Okay, so here is an actual grocery haul. <laughs> Um, or just, I guess, what is this, number three for the week? Um, but this is the last one that I've placed to kind of get us through, and it was about $145. So we did get a lot of drinks. I'm gonna start over here. Um, I actually wasn't planning on getting three, but it was a dollar off of three, and you guys know we drink coffee like nobody's business, so We'll definitely use it, um, but really I was just looking for a few different flavored ones to finish out the month. I've been sharing like my coffee of the day with a new flavor every day over on Instagram, and um, you guys are really liking that. So I wanted to pick up a few more to try, but I went ahead and got extras for the Starbucks because it was a dollar off of three just for the Starbucks. So I got a French roast in the dark roast um, for my husband to try and I'll try one too. And then I got a house blend for him because he doesn't really care for, I mean, he'll drink it, but he doesn't care if it's flavored. Um, he really just likes the regular tasting coffee. So I did get two more on the regular side for him. Um, and this is the one that I was first picking up when I saw the coupon, the cinnamon dolce. So I got the Starbucks cinnamon dolce to give that a try. And then I got the Texas pecan. I feel like I've tried this before. I just don't remember because I've picked up quite a few from this Cafe Olay by HEB but I don't know if I've picked this one up yet. So I went ahead and got that one. And then I am on the hunt for the Samoas one, but I cannot find it. I keep seeing it online and I've gone in store a few times now and I just don't, I don't see it. 
um, but this one is always there, the Thin Mints. So I went ahead and got the Thin Mints, but if you guys have spotted the Samoas one, let me know because I have yet to see it in store. I've just seen pictures of it and things like that online. So I did go ahead and get the Thin Mints because I know I'll enjoy that. Then I got two different kinds of Zevias. My husband loves these. So I got the cream soda and the ginger root beer. And then my daughter and I, my oldest daughter, well actually and one of my younger daughters, Pearl, we love the Perrier. And I haven't seen these before, these new flavor combinations. So I went ahead and got two. There was, um, I think there was a third one. But I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get my two favorites. So I got the strawberry and kiwi for us to try, and then peach and cherry, that just sounded good. Um, one gallon of milk, then the kids are going to be home for two weeks now, so I went ahead and got them just a fun little chocolate milk for breakfast. It's rare that I get this, but it was a dollar off of three. So I went ahead and got um, three of them for them, and it's just the Nesquik chocolate milks and you don't have to, these ones, you don't have to keep in the refrigerator if you don't want to. I'm gonna put them in there because they like it cold, but you don't need to. Then I did go ahead and get some more um, Coke Zero. I got the regular Coke Zero and then the Cherry Coke Zero. I've just been having one a day every single afternoon and it's just my thing right now. So went ahead and got two of those and then of course I'm not the only one who drinks this. My oldest daughter Paige drinks it. She has probably more than one a day even though we tried to limit them and then my um, husband Mark likes to have one every single day when he gets home from work. So got two cases of that. Then I saw both of these and I was like yes, that sounds so good. So I only use creamer in my second cup of coffee for the day. The first one I do just the coffee and my collagen, um, but my second cup I have a little bit of creamer in it, but my daughter goes through creamer like nobody's business because she'll have it in her coffee and she also has, adds it to her hot chocolate. So these two flavors just sounded really good um, and I don't know if this will last us more than a week or two, but I got the cinnamon cream in this natural bliss and it says all natural made with real milk and cream. And then I got the coconut cream. This is my first time seeing this one. I don't feel like it's new, but I've never seen it before. So I got the coconut cream and these are not sugar free or anything like that. Definitely slacking on making some of these in sugar free, but I really wanted to try both of those. So I'm gonna have the extra sugar and I don't feel bad about it at all. I got a bunch of bananas. The kids have been a banana kick lately, as well as some apples were completely out and Rose loves herself some apples. I should have bought more, but that's okay. I'll just have to get more next week um, because she has one at least once a day. So I got these little snack sized apples. Some celery sticks for snacking on. These Brussels sprouts look so sad, but I wanted them for a little side this week, so I went ahead and got those. And then peppers, my oldest daughter requested peppers. Actually, she requested a few things. So I got two different kinds because we like these for snacking on, and I love putting cream cheese in these and just popping them in the oven. They're so good. Sometimes I'll put bacon, but then my oldest won't eat them, so sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then what she likes to do is she likes to cut these up into thin little slices and just heat them up with an onion on the skillet. And she has it with like eggs, hash browns, all sorts of stuff, really. She puts onion and pepper in everything. Then I went ahead and got some fresh blueberries and whatever we don't eat towards the end of the week, I will make into the um, blueberry muffins from the Southern Keto Cookbook. My whole family loves those, so that's what we do whenever we have leftover blueberries. All right, another thing that my oldest requested, she wanted me to pick up some tofu for her, so I got this organic tofu extra firm. I don't know the difference because I don't eat tofu. I'm not a huge fan, um, but they had a soft one also. This one just looked, I don't know. I just got that one. So you guys let me know if there's a difference between the soft and the firm. I don't think she knows either. So I went ahead and got this one. I, ha I put these in my cart just in case I change my mind because those don't look good. <laughs> so I got the Brussels sprouts. However, these ones have a butter sauce on them and it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but that's okay. It's always good to have something quick and easy in your freezer that you can pull out for a side dish. Got some cheese and turkey for sandwiches and just for snacking on for the kids since they are off of school. They'll be home now and I don't know if it's y'all are you do your kids do this i feel like they eat more when they're home like it's constant like hey what can i snack on versus when they're in school so i definitely like to have tons on hand this will not last the whole week i'll have to buy some more next week but i just went ahead and got the small pack so this one has 10 of the colby and monterey jack cheese and then this is a smaller pack of the natural turkey breast 
All right, so my oldest daughter wanted some vegetable broth and I figured this lasts longer. So I went ahead and got the Better Than Bouillon seasoned vegetable base so she can use that whenever she wants. Needed some red food coloring, so I picked that up completely out of chili powder. So I did go ahead and get the huge container because I do feel like I use that quite often. So I went ahead and got that. Um, this was also on my oldest daughter's request list or like she wrote a little grocery list for me. She wanted some nutritional yeast. So I went ahead and got that and she asked for some chocolate rice cakes. So I got that for her. All right, almost done. I got two of the baguettes because I am using this for two different um, recipes and snacking things that we got coming up. And then I went ahead and got two of these because it was $2 off when you buy two. So I got two of the DiGiorno stuffed, which is my daughter Rose's favorite. And I just went basic and got cheese. That way there's no complaints. My oldest daughter can eat it. You know, it doesn't matter. There's no meat on it. So I went ahead and got two of these just to have on hand. I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and make these tonight um, because it is nasty outside and my allergies are kicking in. <laughs> I'm really surprised I haven't had to pause for sneezing and wiping my nose yet. Um, but I feel like we're gonna have these for dinner tonight probably just to make it easier on me. But yeah, that is it. That's what's going to round us out for um, this week going into Christmas week. All right, so there you have it, groceries for the week. It was kind of a hodgepodge, but if you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite store to shop at is down below. I'm always curious. I feel like that here lately, I've been going to Trader Joe's, Costco, H-E-B, like those three every single week. I don't know, they just get me. So if you guys are new, I would love for you to subscribe. I am participating in Vlogmas, which is posting a video every single day for the month of December. So I will see you guys tomorrow, and I actually already know what tomorrow's video is. It's going to be my kids sharing what they picked out for each other for Christmas. We started this tradition last year or the year before. It's fairly new, and on Christmas Eve, they open up gifts for from each other, and they've been loving it so far. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys tomorrow. I hope to see you guys there. Bye.